Hi everyone, hope everyone is staying safe and keeping well and welcome back to another series of uh, Sassy video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the Meraki MX with Cisco Umbrella, right? Uh, Umbrella SIG. Right, we're going to configure a secure tunnel through the secure internet gateway. So if you remember the last video, uh, we have actually created a site-to-site -site VPN between the VMX that I have in Azure Hong Kong with the MX67W in Singapore, right, in my branch office. Now to continue with the SASE SD-WAN story, we're going to show you how to set up the secure edge configuration between the Singapore branch MX and Cisco Umbrella in Singapore. So that will allow us to create a secure internet gateway where our web traffic will be directed through the tunnel before it hits the internet or SaaS application, depending on whether you are configuring the cloud layer 7 firewall or you know a web proxy or web gateway or even CASB for you know uh, DLP protection to your cloud apps. So there are two ways to configure the Meraki MX and the Umbrella SIG solution. If you have the Meraki SD-WAN license, you, you can easily use the cloud on RAM feature to quickly spin off the tunnel. Now, for me, I do not have the SD-WAN license. What I'm going to show you is how do you manually configure the tunnel between uh, both the MX and the Umbrella. So let's hop over to the dashboard. So first, let's go to the Umbrella dashboard. Uh, when you first come in, Right, um, hop over to deployment, right? Click on deployment and then uh, select network tunnel. Okay. By default, this should be blank, right? You do not have any tunnel configuration yet. Then hop over to add and click on add. Right, give the tunnel a meaningful name, right? In our case, uh, SASE SG MX to SG Umbrella right tunnel. Okay, uh, you can select any of the device here, right, from Cisco, or you can integrate with uh, other third party. So for this configuration, we're gonna integrate with MX. So I'm gonna select MX, right. Uh, leave the traffic selector off, right, uh, for now since it's optional. Next, you want to specify the tunnel ID. You will need this as the uh, IP address when you configure the um, non-Meraki peer in MX, right? So same thing, I'm going to give it a name. It says the SG MX to SG Umbrella uh, Tunnel, right? Okay, take note of the past phrase. It has to be 16 character long at least and comprises of capital and a small letter, right? It cannot contain any special character so take note of that you will prompt you if the password does not match or conform to the policy once that is done click on save you will see the tunnel ID and the pass phrase right copy this copy the tunnel ID and the pass phrase and hopefully you save it somewhere or paste it somewhere first okay and then next we're going to copy the passphrase okay once that's done click on done and then hop over to the meraki dashboard now choose the network that you want to configure the tunnel right uh, usually it's your branch office that you want to you know ensure uh, secure web access through the branch office. So in my case, I'm going to select the SG uh, branch office, right? Next, once you have done that, go to security and SD-WAN, right? Select site-to-site -site VPN. Okay, I have done a few configuration connecting couple of MXs and VMXs, you know, so that I get the uh, auto VPN capability of the Meraki solution, which allows me to easily connect up all my various uh, offices and setup, right? So I have added a Azure 
uh, instance or environment to my, uh, you know, uh, SD-WAN environment so that I can route between all my tests and demo environment. Okay. So for this setup, what you want to do is to go to the non-Meraki peer, right, and click on add a peer. So give it a meaningful name. Select IKE v2 for the phase one uh, communication and then click on default to specify the uh, IPsec policy right uh, you can choose the preset template for umbrella which is AES 256 and SHA-1 right and then click on update okay for the public IP address this is where you need to go over to the network tunnel configuration uh, guide Right, and then click on the uh, I, uh, connect to Cisco Umbrella Tunnel through Tunnel. Right, this will give you the IP address that are available. Uh, there are a lot of location that uh, Umbrella is or Cisco Umbrella is present. So in my setup, I have the Singapore office and the Singapore uh, Umbrella instance. I'm going to use that since it's closest to me. Right, hop over back to. Um, the MX configuration and enter in the public IP address here. Okay, now the local ID is the uh, umbrella SIG tunnel ID that you have uh, created earlier on. So copy that and paste it over here. Right, you can re um, leave the remote ID blank. Right, you can put the email address uh, or any of the uh, identifier. Right, for this setup, we're going to keep it blank. Right, for private subnet. Since we're going to route all internet traffic through the tunnel, we're going to put uh, all, right? The preset key is the passphrase that you have uh, generated or entered in earlier, right? So copy that and paste it here, right? For availability, you want to choose the network that you want to uh, allow through the tunnel. So I'm going to select the SG branch uh, network, right? And then once that is done, click on save, right? That will have completed the whole configuration. Now, before we switch the tunnel, let's go over and take a look at my dynamic IP address. You can see right now, my IP address starts with 165 and it is from my Republic, right? So, and then we're going to, okay, so once, uh, once I click save, right, uh, there will be a confirmation to ask you to, you know, uh, to explain to you how, uh, you know, the IP address will be routed through the smaller subnet, etc. You can just go ahead and confirm the changes after you read through the uh, message, right? And you will see that the tunnel is now being negotiated and, uh, you know, uh, established, right? So you will see that the pink, right, goes down for a short while. And then it comes back up, right? So we should have established a tunnel. So what we want to do now is to go into uh, security at SD WAN again, right? And what you want to do is to look at the VPN status. Okay, when you hop over to the non Meraki peer, you will see that the Tunnel is up and running, right? Denoted by green. So what we want to do is to hop over to Umbrella. Now head over to Deployment and Network Tunnel again. You should see that now the tunnel is active, right? So let's do a quick validation. If we go over to check on my IP address again, you should see now that the IP address has been changed to 146 and then you will see that the ISP is now Cisco OpenDNS, right? So that is all you need to do to configure the MX and the Umbrella uh, solution to establish the 
tunnel for a secure internet gateway access, right? Uh, it's a very short video, so um, I'm not going to do a lot more uh, in terms of explanation. But in my next video, we can rock, look, we can walk through some of the uh, policies that you can do and uh, you know, explain a little bit more on how you can use, make use of the secure internet gateway, right, to better protect your branch office. Thank you very much for the time and please stay safe and take care of yourself. Thank you.